How is everybody doing today? On this Monday. It's a little bit gloomy out here today in Iowa. How is the weather where everybody's at there? I have had a busy, busy weekend. My youngest son, my baby boy, mine, not Luke's. Um, my youngest son, Tanner, graduated high school yesterday. Hi, Rose. Yep, my little boy graduated. Oh, he's not little anymore. He's 18. Whoops. He's 18, so. Thanks, Rose. Thanks. Yes, I am so happy. Both my boys, I got to watch both my boys walk down the aisle. So excited about it. So I want to let it. I wanted to let everybody know um, that I'm going to start having live sales on Mondays and Tuesdays. So I'm gonna now that school's out. I'm finally able to schedule time to have live sales. So um, I'm gonna do Mondays and Mondays at 3 p.m. and then. Um, Tuesdays at 7 p.m. And both of those will be central time. So, I've only got three people watching it looks like. So, we'll see if we can get a few more people on here before we start the sale. Yes, it's been a busy, busy weekend for me. Oh, a lot of tears. I'm sad that my son graduated. It's really sad. It just makes me feel old. Hi, Leanne. It's just crazy. It just seems like it. it's nuts how time, how fast time flies by for me. Like, they, my mom and dad always told me when I was younger that the older you get, the faster time goes by. And I never really, like, believed them or, you know, got what they were saying. But it's it's totally true. It is totally true. Like, it seems like we just moved into this house and they were babies. Both my boys was little. And now they're both graduated high school. It's just crazy. It, it's just kind of sad. How fast time flies by, but I, like I said, I'm, I'm dating Luke and Luke has, um, four kids of his own. His oldest daughter, uh, graduated last year and his youngest son is just in kindergarten or, uh, well, he'll be in first grade next year. So it's like, I'm starting all over again, but me and Luke have been together for five and a half years. So I, I just, I'm starting over. It's crazy. But I love those babies. Hi, Roxanna. So, how is everybody doing on this Monday? Next week, I don't know. So, like I said, I'm scheduling my live sales. I know. I, I love kids. They're so much fun. They're just, they keep me busy all the time. And it's just, I love sitting and having conversations with them. Because they say the darndest things. And they're so funny. But um, as I was saying, I'm not for sure if I will have my, if I will do a live sale um, next Monday or not since it's Memorial Day. I haven't yet decided. Um, we have the kids, we'll have the kiddos, so we'll probably take them to do something because I don't think Luke works. So plan on next Monday me not having a live sale, but I will have Tuesdays. Um, if anything changes, if we happen not to do anything, like if we watch the weather and it's really crappy, because lately in Iowa, it's been raining every day. Like, 
it will have blast of rain and pouring rain. Hi, Candace. And it's crazy. The Iowa weather is just nuts. It's, yeah, I know. I heard you got it. You've been getting a lot of rain in Texas. You're in Fort Worth, Texas, right, Roxana? That's, I see every day when I watch the news and it shows the national weather. I always tell Luke, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's raining again in Texas. They get so much rain. Where does it go? Because it's like, you guys don't have a lot of grass down there. It's, it's sad. I like Texas. It's pretty in Texas. Like, you have a pond in your backyard. Oh, no. I remember um, a few years ago, like when it rained, when we get a rain, a lot of rain here, my backyard floods. We always get a little pond in my backyard. Um, Luke always says that we need to get some fill dirt and fill it in, but it doesn't happen very often. But I remember one year, right before races, we have, um, the town that I live in is called the Sprint Car Capital of the World. So we have sprint car races here, uh, the biggest sprint car racetrack. And, um, well, I don't know if it's the biggest, but they it's the sprint car capital of the world is what it's called, I guess. But they do like these things called nationals where our little town gets extremely busy for two weeks um, in August. And, I mean, it's it gets full of people. I live right in front of the racetrack um, behind a grocery store, hy V. So, and my backyard is huge. So I have people camp, come camp in my backyard. I park and camp and I charge and it's awesome. I make quite a bit of money in those two weeks, but it's really fun because I have like the same people come every year. So I'll, pe I'll people come from Australia. I'll have people come from Minnesota, um, I don't, like, I don't know. They're all over the world. They come from, every, like, different states and countries. So, it's a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. It's 85 degrees there and bone dry. Wow. Not here. Not here. Are you, we haven't mowed. We haven't been able to mow because every time we're not busy, it's pouring rain. And so we haven't mowed our yard in like two weeks and it is super tall and I hate it. So hopefully Luke will be getting home in a little bit and he said he's going to mow tonight. So thank gosh. I'm excited about that because I don't, I like my yard nice and manicured. I like it mowed. I don't like tall grass. And pl plus I have two, my little chihuahuas, I have two chihuahuas. They don't like the tall grass either. Okay guys, should we get started? I think we should get started here. Okay, so the first thing, um, if you are new to my channel, please um, send me an email to register. My um, email is junktobeloved at gmail.com. It's all lowercase letters. I'll type it in right now. And I actually think that I um, forgot to put it in the description for some reason on this video but it's in other videos as well sorry guys oh that's where I didn't look right there we go there we go Okay, yes, it's all lowercase letters, just junk to be loved at gmail.com. And make sure you include your YouTube name so that way I know who you are. And then your real name, your shipping address, and your PayPal email address. That way I can get invoices sent out to you guys. And I think that's it. So let's get started. If you have any questions, feel free to just put it in the message. But first, I have this. Now, some people were thinking it was a squirrel, and I thought it might have been. It looks like a kangaroo to me, but it could be a squirrel. It's probably a squirrel because it's a nut. It's a nutcracker, and this is brass. And crap, I forgot my tape measure. 
yes, if you guys have already sent me your um, information, if you've already sent it in the past, you don't need to send it again. If you, I already have it, then it's already in my in my computer. I'm going to go grab, I know, I think it's a kangaroo too, but I don't know. Um, I'm going to go grab my tape measure. Don't go anywhere. I will be right back. Hi, Mr. Chapter 2 Vintage. How are you, Aaron? Now my dog is scratching at the door. Since I went in there, he was taking a nap. And I had to go in and get my tape measure. Okay, so back to this. I don't understand what is going on here. I accidentally bumped something and you guys can still see me okay, right? Let me know if you can still see me. I bumped something on the dang computer and now it won't let me watch see the video. I can see comments still, I believe. So let me know if you guys can still see me. Yes, you can see me. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Okay. Then I'm not going to worry about it, I guess, seeing myself on this. Okay, so we have this brass kangaroo or squirrel or whatever you want it to be, I guess. There's no markings on the bottom. It looks like it did have like a label, but it's no longer there. I just think it's... I like it. I think it's cute. Oh, perfect. Good, good, good. And this kangaroo squirrel, whatever you want to call it, is six inches long. He's six inches long and three and a half inches tall. Six inches long, three and a half inches tall. And we'll start this out at $9. We're going to start this at... Um, kangaroo squirrel out at $9. If anybody's interested in it, I think it's cute. I like it. I've never seen one like it before. And then, like, it's, look, it's got, like, feet. <laughs> it's pretty neat, and I like the details in his ears and his face. And he's just pretty cool. Hello, Pamela. So $9 if anybody is interested in this guy. I'm not doing numbers today. I'm just going to do like, because this is my first sale, so I wasn't really for sure how many people would be watching. So I really wasn't, I didn't write down prices. So mostly everything's just going to, I don't know. <laughs> I liked him though. I thought he was cool. I like his tail. What do you guys think? Do you guys think, hi queen. Do you guys think that um, it's a squirrel or a kangaroo? What do you think it looks like? Hi Joanne. I don't know. To me. Oh, well, it's not my first sale. This is not, this isn't my first live sale. Um, it's my, like, 
I guess it like I finally get to schedule, have a schedule for a while since school's out, so. But $9, yeah, I know it's a nutcracker, but do you think it's a squirrel or a kangaroo? I don't know. To me, I thought it looked like a kangaroo, but some people said it looked like a squirrel. squirrel -a -roo, there you go. I think it's neat. Anyways, $9 if anybody's interested in this. And like I said, it is a little over six inches long and uh, three and a quarter inches tall. So six inches long, three inches tall. It is, it's really cool. It's brass, you know, it's brass. Brass stuff's in right now too. So I thought it was neat and really unique. I had never seen one like that before. I like its tail. I like all the details. It's fun. Okay, next I have this Anchor Hawking, it's a glass dish. And it's like a chicken in a basket. And it is marked on the bottom. It is does have its Anchor Hawking mark on the bottom. I don't know if you can see it very well, but it's right there. I thought it was cool, like a little candy dish. Or, you know, you could put like a little tea light in there and have it glow a different color. Like, cause the, you know how the little fairy lights come in different colors. That would be pretty in there. And we're gonna start this Anchor Hawking dish out at $8. I'm gonna start it out at $8. And I like it how it's like a ball. No chips or cracks. I think it's so pretty. And it measures four inches tall. And then it's three and a half inches round. I like it. It's really cool and funky, and I like it that it's Anchor Hawking. Again, something I had never seen. I didn't know Anchor Hawking made these. It's, the beak's in great shape. Um, Queen, if you could just send it to me again just in case, that would be great. Just send me your info again, just in case. Um, junk to be loved at gmail.com is my email. So, $8 if anybody's interested in this. Thank you, Queen. Next, glassware. I love glass. I love glass, obviously. <laughs> um, I buy it all the time. If you, in my haul videos, you see it all the time. Um, next, I have this little planter. And it does have, like, a manufacturing. It's weird. Right there. Can you see it? It's kind of like, like chipped, but it's like in the, I don't know how, to, you guys can see it. It's not coming in the best, but this thing is old, really, really old. 
So it's like a manufacturing chip with like stuff inside of it. I don't know. It's right there. But he's so cute. Look at his face. He's so cute. He needs cleaned up. I didn't have a chance to clean him up. So he does need cleaned up. He is, he is old and dirty. But he's so cute. I love it. And, and then on the back, um, it says made in Japan. It's stamped in there. I just think this, I like the green. I love the color. And it's just a cute little dog planter. I just think it's adorable. And we are going to start him out at $10. Start him out at $10 for the dog planter. Look at his little face. He's just the sweetest thing. I love him. And see, his ear looks flat. Doesn't it look a little flat right there? But it's like smooth. So, I don't know. That's just how he was made. And I see Angie for 10. I like it. I think it's so cool how it's Got the, like, ripple bucket. And he's cool. Look at his face. Oh, he's just the sweetest thing. <laughs> Wouldn't that be so cute with, like, an air plant or a succulent? I just think that would be so adorable. And it measures four inches tall. Four inches long and then the little pot is about like two and a half inches round oh maybe the cord came unplugged what happened here the computer just died I don't know what happened did I unplug the cord on accident oh crap Okay, so anybody want to go higher than 10? I'm going to have to figure out this computer thing real quick. I don't know what happened to it. And like I said, it is stamped made in Japan. It looks like he's up to something. I know, right? Look at his face. <laughs> and I think it's just cute. Oh, he's holding the, he's holding the little pot thing. His little planter pot. I wish I had a chance to clean it up. But I didn't. Whoever gets it can clean it up. All right, so this is difficult without my computer. Hi, Judy. Okay, so I've got um, $10 for Angie going once. $10 for Angie going twice. And sold to Angie for $10. Thank you, Angie. Okay, guys, give me one minute. Please bear with me. I think my computer, I didn't leave myself enough room. And I think, hi, Yvonne. I think my computer just came unplugged. So give me one second here. I don't know why it's not okay I don't know I don't know what's going on 
Hi, Karen. Okay. Computer issues. Something always happens. Okay, next. I have this cute little mouse. Now, I had a really hard time trying to decide if I wanted to sell these or not because... If you watch my um, picking videos, as you've seen in my previous past ones, I got a whole collection of these. Like a whole collection of these little Japan um, stuffed animals that are like made, they're hard. You know, they're like made with the, like sawdust usually, or I don't know. You know, you know what I'm talking about, but they're made in Japan. They're the hard plushies. They're so cute. Look at, look at its eyelashes. Oh my goodness. That is the cutest mouse I've ever seen in my life. And look, it still has its original tag. It still has its original tag on there. I love this mouse. No, if he doesn't sell, that's perfectly fine. That's it. Like I said, I'll, we'll just keep him in my collection. But I am going to start him out at $14 if anybody is interested. Because he does have his original tag. And he's just adorable. He's, he's vintage. He's a vintage mouse. He does have a few age spots on there. But overall, he's in great condition. Look at his tail. I love it. I just, I think it's adorable. And I love its big old ears. Does the tag say Japan only? No, it says um, the maker, which is K-A-M-A-R, -A -A so Kamar, and then made in Japan, 1964. This is the date on there, 1964. It's, my phone doesn't want to come in the best, but there's the first part and then there's the second part. Sorry. This was made the year my mama was born. That's so cool. I love it. I love its big old ears. Look at that. I love it. And then they're like wire. The ears are, have wire on the inside. And I see Joanne for 14. I love this. I'm, I'm, I have a bunch of them, so I think I'm probably going to just keep the one that I really like and then sell the rest because I can't collect everything. So, I love it. Isn't it adorable? So cute. And it, this guy... And it's like the, you know, it's it's kind of like the velvet. You know how I'm saying? it's like, And it's yellow. Oh my gosh, so cute. So stinking cute. And it is about seven inches tall with his ears. About seven inches tall. Well, I picked up wrap quite a bit I, I can't remember um I don't know I'd have to go back and look I'd have to go back and look Joanne but I have quite a bit I picked up like a reindeer um the one I think I might keep is a red poodle but we will see I might just sell them you know I don't really need them so I can't keep everything and I have a lot of glass, and so I don't know. But, okay, so I'm going to start calling this. So we got 14 for Joanne going once. 14 for Joanne going twice. And sold for $14 to Joanne. 
Precious lavender buttons. You know, um, I, do you want me to start saying precious lavender buttons instead of Joanne? Does that bother you, Joanne? I love it. I love that little mouse. Yes, it will look good on your shelf, and I know it's going to a great home. Okay. Next, I, and you know I love glass. I, I've said it, I love glass, but I can't keep it all. Hi, Chicago lady. Um, but I have this beautiful glass paperweight. Is that not gorgeous? Do, that would look so pretty in a window with the light shining through. I mean, you can kind of see it shining through now. How it looks like the rainbow. Oh my gosh, I love it. And the green and the purple. And this is just gorgeous. And this is, it's etched on the back. Er, like, I don't know how you would see it's like carved in the glass. It's so cool. And then colored. It's so neat. I think this is such a pretty, pretty piece of glass. We are gonna start this piece of, beautiful piece of glass out at um, $12. Isn't that pretty? We're gonna start this out at $12. I love how the purple and the green, and it measures Five and a half inches tall. Well, let me make sure because I actually. No, it's taller than the five and a half inches tall. Sorry, guys. It was, no, it's five and a half inches tall and um, about three inches wide. And then in the back, it's about two inches. And it is just a gorgeous, gorgeous piece of glass. I absolutely love this. $12 if anybody's interested in this. It's so pretty. And it's polished and smooth, like completely smoothed on the bottom and clear. And then it's like etched on the back. And then carved in the glass. And you see? It's so pretty. I think this is just gorgeous. And this would look so pretty in the window. With the light shining through. And it's flat on the bottom, so I mean it stands. Well, $12 if anybody's interested in this beautiful piece of glass. I absolutely love it. I love the colors. I love how the light shines through. Okay, next, I have this. Now, I love this little dish. I'm not for sure if it's an ashtray. It does have the indent right there. So, it could be. But, you know, you could use it as a jewelry holder, a trinket dish, a coin holder, anything you want. You could even put a little ring on his tail. I mean, he is so cute, so stinking cute. I love this piece. And it is marked Czechoslovakia on the bottom. It says made in Czechoslovakia. And 
my computer is gonna die. Oh, maybe, I don't know what's going on with it. So weird. Okay, we are going to start this dish out at $14 because it is made in Czechoslovakia. Like I said, it is stamped on the bottom. There is no chips or cracks in it. It is a very, very gorgeous piece. Well, actually, I take that back. Like right, that's like a, I don't know what you would call that. Do you see that right there? But it's only right there. Oh my gosh, look at his ears. So stinking cute. And his like mustache. What What kind of dog is this? Oh, thank you. I have, I actually have two of those lamps. I have a matching pair. I see Judy at 14. Uh, Judy, what kind of dog, what kind of dog do you think this is? I, I know, he's like, whoa, you caught me doing something I'm not supposed to be doing. <laughs> I love it, I love his mustache. So stinking adorable. It's so cute, right? A cute one. I think it's just adorable. And I will measure it for you. A Scottish Terrier. It measures about five and a half inches long. And four and a half inches tall and then about four inches um deep a schnauzer i just think he's stinking adorable he's like oh you caught me something i'm not doing i'm not supposed to be doing that's what he looks like to me so cute Okay, so we got 14 for Judy. Anybody want to go any higher? Hi, Sharon. Hi, Nanette. Thank you for tuning in and being a new... Well, subscribe if you're not subscribed. That way... Um, and hit that bell button. That way you're notified when I do go live and when I post my picking and my haul videos. I truly appreciate all the support, you guys. And don't forget those thumbs up. It helps, like, something in the algorithm thing. Okay. So, I'm going to start calling this. So, we got 14 for Judy going once. 14 for Judy going twice. So cute. <laughs> And sold to Judy for $14. Congratulations, Judy. I think he's stinking adorable. Okay, next I have these. Now, I thought these would be really cool for like package toppers or um, tags at, at your booth, like your, your flea market or anything like that. They are new old stock. So, I don't know what they look like because they're brand new. I didn't open them. I just thought that was funky and cool. I like that graphic. I thought they were really neat and retro looking. That's what it says on that side. John Bogstad and Sons Farm Inc. Certified seed in table potatoes and small grains. Donaldson, Minnesota. And then it gives the names and then phone numbers. And 
Then I like the two. I wish you guys could see it. There's two little graphics. And it looks like a snowman and an Indian. I don't know. But these are cool. They're new old stock cards. And, you know, these will be perfect for package toppers, like I said. Or junk journaling. I want to know what they look like. They're cool. So, um, $8. We're going to start these out at $8. Yes, I'm doing the cards right now. We're going to start these out at $8. If anybody's interested in the new old stock playing cards. Like I said, these would be perfect for package toppers. They're new. They're brand new. They've never been open. They're still sealed. Package toppers, junk journaling, anything like that. Oh, gosh, I'm not going to open them. I'm going to let the person that buys them open them because I, they're brand new. And somebody might not, somebody might want them still sealed. So I don't want to open them. Sorry. <laughs> but $8, if anybody will start them out at $8. And then, oh, I see Sharon for eight. Any more ashtrays? Um, I do have, I do, you can, they might be ashtrays to you. Um, I'll show you in a second. Eight dollars. Hello to anybody that I missed, too, because my computer shut off for a little bit. I don't understand what's going on with it. Okay, so I'm going to start calling this. So we got Sharon for $8 going once. Sharon for $8 going. You're welcome, Judy. Sharon for $8 going twice. I know I have a lot of cards. I think I've, I'm attracted to cards. If I see them and they look cool, especially when they're new and still sealed, like that, I think that's... And they look so funky. And I'm going to call it sold to Sharon for $8. Congratulations, Sharon. Um, my email is junktobeloved at gmail.com. All lowercase letters, just junktobeloved at gmail.com. And when you send me your um, email, make sure you include your YouTube name, so that way I know who you are, and your real name, your shipping address, and then your PayPal email address, so that way I can get you an invoice sent out. And I'm, I'm having a sale today, and then I'm also having a sale tomorrow evening at 7 p.m. Central Time, and then I will work on invoices from Monday's and Tuesday's sale on Wednesdays. That's my new plan. Now that school's out, I can make a schedule, and it's nice. Okay. Oh. Okay, so this, I mean, you can, can you, if you want to say this is an ashtray, it could be an ashtray. It does have the divot in there, I believe. I don't know. It's a popular Murano style, uh, the dish, but I'm not saying that it's, I, I'm not saying for sure that it's Murano. The bottom is polished and smoothed, but it does have a round. Like, can you see how it's like? You can kind of see it like that. But it's all smoothed. It's all polished and smoothed. But right here is 
I mean, it's a tiny little bit rough right there in that one little spot. Can you see it right there? I mean, but it's not bad at all. Just one little rough spot on there, but that's so pretty. It's like a heart-shaped dish, and it's got the divot right there and the polished bottom. We're gonna start this dish out at $14. It's so pretty how it's got the clear and then like the purple. It's kind of like a purplish, like a purplish color. That's what it looks like to me. It's like a purple, like a purplish shade. Yeah, it's really cool. I like it. I like it. And it's smooth. It's all smooth. The only rough spot is a little bit right there. One little rough spot right there. But that's it. I mean, it's gorgeous piece of glass. It's so pretty. So starting this out at $14 if anybody's interested in it. I will measure it. It measures. I like the clear and the purple is what I like. Um, it measures seven inches long, six inches wide, and two inches tall. So it is pretty cool. I really, really like it. I like how it's clear and purple. Hi, Christina. Let's see, it's just a glass dish. Beautiful piece of glass. I love glass, so it was hard to get myself to sell this, but I can't keep everything. It's weird because it has one little thing inside the glass right there. It's pretty. Okay, I don't see anybody. Mm, nobody likes the glass today. Where's all my glass buyers at? I have several pieces of glass today, so maybe I'll just wait and put those in tomorrow night. Okay, next I have this, and I love this. It is a Betty Crocker vintage Betty Crocker cookbook with the ring binder. Can you see that? And I love it. And it is from, it says first edition, fourth printing, copyright 1954. And then on the bottom, it says printed in the USA by Western Printing and Lithographing Company. So that is pretty neat. I like that. Look at it. That's pretty cool, right? And we're going to start this cookbook out at $12.00. It's, it's cool. It's breakfast, lunch, dinner, fourth meal. Fourth meal. Coffee get-togethers, afternoon teas, dessert parties, holiday open house, birthday celebrations, treats for children, teenage gatherings, evening snacks. That's cool. Dear friend, Three times a day and sometimes more, every homemaker asks herself, what can I serve that my family and friends will enjoy? To help make this answer easier for you, we have divided this book into four sections. One for breakfast, one for lunch, one for dinner, and one for between meal snacks, which we call the fourth meal. A glance through any section will suggest many delicious possibilities. Good foods, easy to prepare. We hope they will make mealtimes happy in your home. Sincerely, Betty Crocker.
That's cool. I like it. This has got some really cool recipes. Ooh. Pancake time. Pancake time, it says. Let's see, it's got the... That's neat. So, I don't remember what I said. Well, I don't remember what I said, but we're going to say $9. I think I said 12 but we're going to say $9 for this cookbook. We're going to start this out at $9. Ooh, homemade donuts. I could sit here and look at these recipes all day. I used to cook so much, not so much anymore. Country breakfast, strawberry festival, breakfast, that's cool. I like it. And this cookbook's in great condition, great shape. It's got all kinds of recipes for salads, meats, I mean, everything. Like I said, it is from 1954. 1954. So I see Leanne for nine. We got $9 for Leanne. It's cool. I like the ring binder. It's that's awesome. And it's made what's that say? Good and easy. Oh, I'm here. And it's a hardcover. So I see Nanette at ten for the Betty Crocker cookbook. Yeah, it is. It's really neat. It's got some really cool recipes in it. Like I love the sa I love salads. I'm a huge salad eater, and this has got like tomato special, cheese marinated onions, sea dream salad. This is awesome. Okay, see twelve dollars for Leanne. Like this would be fun to like cook some of these old time recipes. Glazed strawberry pie. Ring topped tarts. Alaskan surprise. Strawberry minute pie. Raspberry minute pie. Ooh. Stir and drop sugar cookies. Stir and drop oatmeal cookies. Cocoa drop cookies. Easy Field Cookies, Jubilee Jumbly. That is cool. I bet this has got some awesome recipes in there, like, to try out. And it's got some pretty cool graphics just on the cookbook alone. Just the cookbook itself. So, I got $12 for Leanne going once. $12 for Leanne going twice. And sold to Leanne for $12. Congratulations, Leanne. Okay, next, I have this piece of embroidery. It's like a tea towel. You can hang it up. It's got a spot where you could put a little dowel in there and hang it up. But how cute and adorable is that, right? It's all embroidered. It says happiness is 
walking hand in hand. Oh, and aren't they so cute? I just think that's so adorable. And it measures. We're going to start this, this tea towel out at $9, by the way. $9. Starting it out. Ah, my tape measure does not want to work. It keeps turning. Okay, it measures. i to figure something else out. There we go. Fifteen and a half inches long. Fifteen and a half inches long and twenty one inches tall. Twenty one by fifteen and a half. So stinking adorable. And like I said, you could put a little dowel in there, like a little rod and hang it up. It's so stinking cute. It's all embroidered. Look at his face. That's so cute, right? With his little bow tie. How cute would that be hanging up? So I see Pat Hall for nine. They're holding hands, aww. Happiness is walking hand in hand. This would even be cute framed if you wanted to put this in a frame. Or, like I said, it's got this thing so you can put a dowel in there and hang it up. So cute. So I see Pat for $9, so I'm going to start calling it. $9 for Pat going once. $9 for Pat going twice. And sold to Pat for $9. Congratulations, Pat. I love it. I think it's so adorable. Okay, next, I have another piece of glass. I have another piece of glass, because I love it. Thank you, Pat. Yes, um, just send it. My email is junktobeloved at gmail.com. All lowercase to letters. It's just junktobeloved at gmail.com, nothing else. Um, and make sure you include your YouTube name so I know who you are and your real name, your shipping address, and then your PayPal email address so that way I can get an invoice sent out to you. But next, I have this beautiful vase. Oh, I can't remember. Like, It's like not Jack in the Pulp. I mean, it, you could consider it that, but it's clear frosted. So I don't know if you if that's what it's called. I don't know. But I love this piece of glass. The bottom is clear, and then it just goes to frosted. And it's super pretty. I absolutely love this piece. Hard for me to get myself to sell the glass because I love it, but I want to pass it on and let others enjoy it as well. So we are going to start this beautiful piece of glass out at $14. I absolutely love it how it's frosted and then clear. And I like the way that looks, how it's like chunky. It's a gorgeous piece of glass. So pretty. 
And I like the lines. $14. And it measures... Eleven inches tall, so it's pretty tall and about three and three fourths inches wide. It's really pretty. See how it's frosted like that? I love it right to like right there, and then it goes. It's just gorgeous. Very very pretty. Okay. All right. Well, let's try. Nobody likes my glass. Nobody likes my glass. So maybe I shouldn't do this. Fairy lamp. It's a clear glass fairy lamp. It's glass. So it is glass, guys. Um, it's just a clear glass Fairy lamp with the pedestal. Very pretty. I absolutely love it. No chips or cracks. Smooth all the way around the edges. I like how it's, it's pretty. And I forgot my candle, so I can't put a candle in it for you guys. But what I like about the clear glass ones is you could use them for, decorate with them for any holiday. Like Valentine's Day, you could put pink in there. St. Patty's Day, you could put green in there. Um, Easter, you could put yellow in there. Fourth uh, of July, blue. E um, Halloween, orange. Um, Christmas, red. You know, so on and so forth. So, that's why I like the clear ones. And this one's very pretty. We are going to start this guy out at $18. $18 starting out for the fairy lamp. So pretty. Absolutely love it. And it measures... It's a pretty tall one. It measures seven inches tall, just about seven inches tall, I should say. Mm, oh, six and a half. Let's say six and a half. Six and a half inches tall and four and a quarter inches round. So it is pretty, pretty cool. I absolutely love it. I love the pedestal base. So I see Leanne at 18. So so far we got 18 for Leanne. It's very pretty. I don't wanna end up dropping it. Even though I have a million fairy lamps, I seriously have a lot to sell. But I like this one. I like, see how the, see how it's like, Rounded at the bottom. It just looks so fancy. And I don't know what that pattern is called because it's not diamond point because it has this around the... It makes it look so fancy. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, does anybody want to go any higher? If not, I'm going to start calling it. So far, we've got 18 for Leanne. For the beautiful fairy lamp. <laughs> I love it. I love the pedestal base. All right, I'm going to start calling it. So we got $18 going once. $18 going twice. 
and sold to Leanne for $18. Congratulations, Leanne. You got a great deal. Okay. Next, I have a set of old vintage books. You get both of them. You get the pair. We're going to start these guys out at $8 for both. They are a little rough around the edges. Well, the big one is. But if you do junk journaling, these are perfect. We'll start with this one. Look how stinking adorable that is right? And these are the Telltales. That's what this one is. So stinking cute. Oh my gosh. It is written Billy Wilkin on the little boy wrote his name, but look at the graphics. Is that not adorable? And this is made, it says copyright, oh crap. I can never, I'm not good with Roman numerals. I always have to look them up, but there it is. So, look at that fox. So mischievous. Oh my gosh, so stinking cute. I didn't think these are cute. I love old books. And like I said, this is the Telltales. And then you also get this bigger one. And this one. Oh, gosh. So stinking cute. I love the graphics. I just think these are perfect if you junk journal. You know, or even if you collect old books. Now, here's the copyright on that one. It's in Roman numerals, too. I can't really read it. Did anyone else see my bid? I only seen your bid for 18, Christy, and it was after Leanne. I seen Leanne's first, but I, um, I didn't see you bid anything else after 18. It's all I see on my screen. I don't I don't have many comments on there, but this overstuffed house, Nancy, I just got back from seeing a doctor. Now I'm stuck laying flat in a bed for the next few hours. Oh no, that's no good. I'm gonna say a prayer for you. Oh, it's a bummer. Okay, so eight, or what did I say, six dollars? Six dollars starting out, if anybody wants those books. Okay, next, we'll try another piece of glass. I got, I told you guys I had a bunch of glass today. Um, I, I love glass. I'm always picking up glass, but I believe this is Blanco. I could be wrong, it, but it looks like Blanco glass to me. I don't know, but it's really pretty. I like the texture. I like the color green and I like the way the style of the bowl is the glass bowl itself. We are going to start this out at $12. If anybody's interested in this green glass bowl, starting it out at $12. So pretty. And it measures, ooh. 
It measures a little over two and a half inches tall. So two and three fourths inches tall and five and a half inches round. I love this. I did a live chat on Sunday with Jan Antiques from Karen and we both a bit of a wreck. She had a motorcycle accident the night before. Oh no. Ooh, pinched nerves are no fun. I have a pinched nerve in my back that I've that's I've had since I was in like my early 20s I think is when I injured it and it it doesn't bother me all the time only every once in a like while and like a great while or if I like strain it somehow or something but the doctor said that it will be that way for the rest of my life it will never go away once you get a pinched nerve I guess it's always there I mean I don't know if they could do surgery but I wouldn't want to because mine doesn't bother me that bad But okay. Yes, yeah, sending all my prayers. So I think this might be Blanco glass because the way that it's textured, but I, I could be wrong. I like the green, how it's like light green and dark green. That's what it looks like. When you put it like that, it's so pretty. So, so pretty. $14 if anybody is interested in this. I think that's what I said. I can't remember. It's horrible. Okay, next I have this. It is a tin. It's a vintage tin. Um, made in England. Mm. Made in England. A.S. Wilkin L.D. Newcastle upon something. I don't know. Blah, blah. We're going to start this tin out at $6. We're going to start this guy out at $6. I love the vintage tins. I think it's cool. Um, Master Lamb bought the Red Boy after Sir Thomas Lawrence. I could barely read it. Sorry, guys, it's hard to read. But it's Wilkins Red Boy Toffee is what it is. It's the Red Boy Toffee. It's a vintage um, candy tin. It does have a dent. It does have a dent right there. So that's why it's only $6. Okay. Not any blue glass today. I don't have any blue glass today. Next, I have, I do have, ooh, let's do these. Does anybody else like the Scotch tape tins? Fun, right? My mom collects these, but she's got so many, so I told her I was going to sell these. Because she really doesn't need them anyways. They need cleaned up. Ooh. I didn't even clean it up. There we go. They're the scotch tape tins. There's a, a bigger one and a little one. Like, see, they can stack on top of each other. So cute. I love the scotch tape tins. And we're going to start the scotch tape tins uh, for the pair. We're going to start them out at $9. Oh, my hands got the dust on them. We're going to start, for you get both of them for the pair. $9 for the pair. And they are three inches round. Oh, 
The big one's three inches round. And then the littler one is two and a half inches round. Three inches by three inches and two and a half inches round. They're so fun. I really like them. Oh, thank you. Thank you, butterfly nurse. I try to ha pack everything really, really well. I see Yvonne, oh, I see Leanne at 12. $12 for Leanne, 14 for Yvonne. I think the scotch tape tins are so neat. These are so fun to decorate with. You could do a lot with these things. They're so much fun. Like I said, it needs clean. They need cleaned up a little bit, but. Oh, sorry. It was upside down. It was upside down. And I see Leanne at 15. 16 for Yvonne. And they're metal. They're the tins. They are empty. I guess I should have said that. I hope you guys don't care. Most most of them are. I mean, I've I've can't I've never found one with tape in it. I want to read what that says. The term scotch and the plaid design are registered trademarks. Marcos registration for pressure sensitive adhesive tapes, the term scotch and the plaid design are registered trademarks. I did not know that. That's cool. Leanne is out. Okay, so I'm gonna start calling it. We got 20 for Yvonne going once. 20 for Yvonne going twice and sold for $20 to Yvonne. Thank you, Yvonne. Man, it hurts my eyes when I got my contacts in when I try to focus on those tiny little words like that. I need to start wearing my glasses when I have my live sales. Okay. Next, I have this cute little metal flower frog. Cute little metal flower frog. Now these are fun because you could put like Valentine's cards in there. Um, you could put anything in there. I, I wish I had. And I don't have anything, I don't think. Here we go. Use one of the kids' DS games. <laughs> Use one of their cases. But look, see? It just displays anything nicely. You could put like a picture in there, any card, but it is a metal and it is pokey. It's a pokey flower frog. It's a vintage one. How fun. That would be so fun with like a Valentine's card in there as display. Or, you know, anything in there for display. But for the flower frog, we're going to start this, um, the metal one out at $6. Start this out at $6 for the metal flower frog. And I will measure it for you really quickly. It is. Yay, let me come back. Are you guys still here? Okay, 
Let me know if you guys are if you guys can see me. I'm gonna I'm gonna kick Luke's behind. I'm gonna kick his behind. I'm gonna seriously kick his behind because I told him, I said, right before my sale, babe. Babe, I'm putting my phone on do not disturb, just so you know. And this was right before my sale. And I swear to God, men, do not listen. <laughs> he just must have not paid attention or something. Because I'm like, I'm putting my phone on do not disturb. So that way, <laughs> that way I'm not bothered and my phone doesn't shut off. And when I'm in the middle of a video. And when you put your phone, when I put my phone on just do not disturb, I have it set for like... If a person calls two times in a row, then obviously it's important. So I need to answer it. And what do, what do I do? So I call Luke back because I'm thinking it's important. And he doesn't even freaking answer the phone. <laughs> oh, men, huh? Sorry if you're a man and you're watching. No offense. No offense. It's just, just seems to... Just, they, it just seems to happen quite often that he just doesn't, he, he don't hear me or he just doesn't listen. Bless his heart. I love him to death. And I'm like, I swear he forgets. Okay, back to the flower frog. Back to the flower frog. We're going to start this out at $6. Six dollars if anybody's interested in this. Yes, selective hearing. That is it. That is it. It's got like foam in there. I You could probably get that out with a pair of tweezers or something. I see Pat for six. We got six dollars for Pat. And they're like little nails. It's cute. Like you could like I said, it would be cute with like a Valentine's like a Valentine's display or like a Valentine's card or like a vintage Christmas card in there or anybody's picture like your grandson or your granddaughter's picture. You know, anything. It would just be really cool for display. So, we got $6 for Pat going once. Hi, Rolene. We got $6 for Pat going twice. I like, And it's a metal. It's a metal flower frog. And sold. Sold to Pat for $6. Okay, Rolene, I will check my email after the sale. I will get it checked after the sale. Oh, sorry, Julie. I just called it. I'm so, so sorry. But, um, Julie, guess what? I got good news for you. I found the frog clip. You were the one that wanted the frog clip, correct? And I found it. So, I'm going to send it to you. Okay, next, do we have anybody that, um, yay, I did, I found it. Um, do we have anybody that collects Anna Lee? I have a pair of Anna Lee. Well, I'm calling them a pair. They're different years and age, but I'm selling them together because I think they're stinking cute and I like them. So for the Ann, oh, excuse me, for the Anna Lee dolls, hi, Julie, you didn't get a notification? I'm not so glad. That's strange. Um, no, I'll just wait for Luke. He's calling the phone for me. Oh, that's what he was calling for. Luke's on the phone because he wanted to see if I wanted Subway. So I take back everything that I said. Tell him, yes, I want, um, where's he, is he getting it now? Yeah. 
Tell them I'll call them after my sale. I'm almost done. Sorry, guys. Um, okay, so we're going to start for the pair of Annalise. We're going to start them out at $12, which is a great deal. You get both of them. We're going to start them out at $12. These are very, very collectible. Um, the girl still has her tag, her original tag. And oh, see if I can find a date. Okay, this one's from 2008, so this one's not that old. She's not that old. She's cute. I like her little hat, and she comes with a stand. And then the boy is a little bit older. He is 1980, I believe Nate, 1989, but on his tag, there's it says 1957, and then below that it says 1981, but on the top part it says 89. So, oops, you be the judge. I don't... Can you see that? So he's a little bit older. And he's cool. Okay, so I see um, Joanne for 13. Precious Lavender Buttons for 13. Yeah, these are cool. I really like the Annalise. And I think they're neat with the tags. And you get both of them. You get the pair. So I see Angie for 14. So cute. And I like her little stand. I see Joanne for 15. So stinking cute. I like their faces. They're so, look, she's like, Hmm, what's going on here? I like him. He's got a scarf. They're just so much fun. Look how happy he is. So happy. And Angie is out. So we've got Precious Lavender Buttons 15 going once. We've got 15 for Joanne going twice. And sold to Joanne for $15. Congratulations. All right, and will I show, will you show more Kamar? Um, unfortunately, he was the only one that I'm going to sell tonight. Um, I do have more, so you'll have to stay tuned, Joanne, because I am going to sell more in my live sales. And uh, actually, I'll, I will put one, I will make sure I put one in my live sale tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Central Time. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have live sales on Monday afternoons and then Tuesday evenings and then work on invoices on Wednesdays. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. Next I have this. Oh, well, I mean, I guess, unless it's, like I said, if it's a holiday, um, because next Monday's Memorial Day, so and we have the kids, so I'll probably take the kids to go do something. Uh, so I probably won't have a sale. But if anything changes, then I'll let uh, I'll let everybody know. But for now, playing on Mondays and Tuesdays. But next, I have another glass piece. I don't have a lot of glass lovers in the house today, but that's okay. We'll try it anyways. This is Fenton, 
It did have part of its sticker, I swear, but it came off. You can see the remnants. But it was there. It really was. And it's stamped Fenton on the bottom. It is stamped Fenton on in, in there. Stamped Fenton. And it's the amber hobnail pattern. Swung. It's a swung glass vase. Anybody like the swung glass vases? They're pretty popular right now. I like it. And like I said, it is stamped Fenton. Wish you guys could see it. It is stamped Fenton with the circle around it. And we're going to start this out at $14. Hi, Tammy. I'm glad you could join me. We're going to start this beautiful Fenton vase out at $14, and I will measure it. It measures 9 inches tall and 2 and a half inches round. 9 inches tall, 2 and a half inches round, and like I said, it's stamped Fenton on the bottom. Hobnail. And then smooth swung vase. This is pretty cool and unique. I really like this piece. You have this one in red? Cool. It is. It's nine inches tall. Nine inches tall and two and a half inches round. It's pretty neat. I like it. I, I think it's neat how it's got the hobnail on the base. See how the base is like, kind of like a bowl. The base is like a bowl. And it's stamped Fenton right on the inside. And then it's got the hobnails. And it's darker. And then it goes light, lighter. And it's swung vase. So that, I mean, that's cool. I really think that's neat I'm you don't really see them you see them a lot when they're you know hobnail all the way but not just a little bit right there so I thought that was very unique oh yours is 14 inches tall cool all right we will put the Fenton aside and, oh, I lied. Are you, are you still here, Joanne? Precious Lavender Buttons, are you still here? I hope you are. Are you here, Joanne? Let me know if you're here. I really hope that you're here because I, I didn't mean to lie, I swear. But I'm doing another. I do have another one. I did have another one. But his brand, he's Japan. He's don't say Kamar. His just says made in Japan. His little taggy. Oh gosh, it's not coming in very well. This is made in Japan. And again, he's a hard, the sawdust one. Look at his eyes. He's a donkey with a tongue sticking out. Oh my gosh, he's like off a of Shrek. Look at his hair. So stinking cute, right? I love these. I love these. So, we're going to start him out at 14. He's got a, his tail, everything. We're going to start him out at $14. I'm I hope you're here, Joanne. I'm so sorry. And he's velvet. Velvet. Yeah, he's like a blonde donkey. <laughs> he's so cute with his tongue sticking out. 
so stinking cute. And there's his tag, original tag, made in Japan. Made in Japan, he's, he's velvet, so he gets dust and fur stuck to him. But he's so cute. And I see Joanne for 14. So we got 14 for Joanne, and I will measure him for you. So if, if anybody wants to go any higher, if not, I'll go ahead and start calling in a minute. But he is six inches tall and six inches long, about. And I think he's cute with his tail. And I like the, the stuff, the... You know, the hard plushies from Japan, they're so cute and unique and very kitschy and fun. So we got 14 for Joanne going once. 14 for Joanne going twice. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. And sold to Joanne for $14. Congratulations, Joanne. I love him. I think it would be so fun to have a, a like a white decorative shelf and put all those because they've got a lot of fun colors. They're just so fun. I have dream pets too. I'm not I'm not gonna do it tonight, but look, Joanne, look. So you'll have to stay tuned. I love finding things that catch my eye and, you know, like kitschy, fun things. And I'm, I hope that other, that's, it's in my hopes that other people will like them as much as I do. Because I swear I was supposed to be born in like, I was supposed to have lived in the 50s and 60s because I love, and the 70s too. I love that style. I absolutely love it. Like my lamp right there. I love it. Okay. Next, I have this cute little piggy. Now, I'm not for sure how old he is. Because it does have a rubber, a rubber bottom. But he's like a thick. Like, can you see how thick that plastic is? And he's a penny bank. Oh, and you can kind of see through him. Like, you can kind of see through him. I don't know, but he's so just, he's just precious. He's just so stinking cute. Look how he's laying there on his, he's just like chilling. Oh, and it's a plastic, it's a plastic bank with cute little flowers on him. I just think he's so stinking cute, right? I've never seen a bank like that. I think it's adorable. And we're going to start him out at $9. We're going to start this bank out at $9. And then, like I said, it's the thick plastic. It has a stopper. And he measures, he doesn't, he's not very heavy, but it's pretty cool. He's, he's about six and a half inches tall and eight and a half inches long. And five inches wide, or actually more like six because he's got a big old, big old badonk -a donk it's so cute. So stinking cute. I like them. Cute little tail. Look at his little pigtail. Oh. Hi, Mary. I 
I think it's cute. I always got all these cute little things painted on him. All right. Moving on. I'm down to my last four things, and then we will go over what did it sell. Okay. Great. You can see through the pig for the money, yeah? I think he's cute. And I, I think he's just... I think he's cute. Oh, um... I don't, we're starting him out at $9. $9 for the piggy. Look at his little nose. Oh, thank you, Leona. I like how the, he's just like chilling with his hand up. He's just like, woohoo, look at me. He's modeling. This is what it looks like to me. <laughs> so $9 for the pig. I started at um, 3 p.m. Central Time. So about an hour and a half ago, I think. Or an hour and 45 minutes ago. I think... Because I my, my boyfriend called and interrupted. Nine, and I will take it. Oh, Karen, you want this for nine? Is this what you want for nine? I will write you down. Perfect. I got you down, Karen. That was weird. It sounded like a gunshot out there. They're doing construction up there. All right. Next, I have this glass flower frog, and it's a big one. Let's count, let's see if I can count the holes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. I believe it is a nineteen hole flower frog. So this is pretty neat. And it's glass. It is a glass flower frog. So it's pretty big. This is cool for like displaying old marbles. You could display old marbles or, you know, you could get those little, what would be really neat is, um, you can get like the little styrofoam balls, like tiny little ones and paint them different colors and stick them in there and then get flowers, like not real flowers, but you know, like fake flowers and make a cool design. That would be really neat. That would be really neat. And this, we're going to start the glass flower frog out at um, $10 since it's a big one and it has so many holes. And it measures five inches. Wow. Five inches round. And it is an inch tall. One inch tall, five inches round. We're going to start this out at $10. It's big. It's got a lot of holes. It's cool. And then it's got like the little, little risers on the bottoms kind of, you know, like the little feet. Thanks, Missy, for letting people know how many items just because it's last my um oh you're welcome okay so i've got julie for 10 10 dollars for julie and we will um oh enamel that'd be cool that'd be really neat 
So I'm gonna go ahead and start calling it. We got $10 for Julie going once. $10 for Julie going twice. And sold to Julie for $10. And I will put the frog in there too. I will, the, the frog clippy, I will include it with the flower frog. Yes, it's a big one. It's a big flower frog. Thank you. What's Sue say? Does anyone know if she sold the Annalie dolls? I haven't. In a yes, I did. I sold the Annalie dolls, Sue, but I have more. I have more. I'm telling you guys, I really should open up my own shop <laughs> because I have got thousands of items. I'm going to, we're getting a shed. It's just with graduation and school ending, it kind of put a halt in our the middle of our plans. So, I'm getting it. I'm going to have a shed. I'm going to have a she shed. And it's going to be full of shelves with vintage treasures. So, it'll be so much fun. Next, I have this awesome. Now, this is freaking awesome. Look at this duck. It is a Mexican pottery duck. Look at all the design on there. All the design. Yep, I do have glowy glass. So that will be coming up in my next, some of my next live sales too. I do have some uranium glass and I do have a black light. I had Luke order one for me. But it is signed Mexico on the bottom. It is signed. And it's a duck. It's like a Mexican pottery duck. This thing is so cool. I love all the detail. This one was made with care. This is really cool. I really, really, really like this one. And we are going to start this. We're going to start this um, Mexican pottery duck out at 15. 15 is what we're going to start him out at. He's in great condition. No chips or cracks. Like I said, he is signed on the bottom. And I'm going to measure him for you. You see a lot of the regular birds, but not a duck or a swan, I guess. Is it a swan? I'm going to call it a swan, a duck. I don't really know, but I love the detail on this. So we'll start this guy out at 15. And like I said, it's, it's signed. He measures six inches long and five and a half inches tall. Ooh, and then four inches wide. Yeah, it might be Tanala. It says Mexico, and then it's signed by the artist, but... Because not all Tanala is signed. I didn't know, I don't know if you guys know that or not, but not all Tanala is signed. Some of it's signed, some of it's not. A lot of it's signed just Mexico. But there is, there's also Mexican pottery that isn't Tanala. So, this looks like Tanala to me as well. Just the style. And I see Karen at 15. So we got, oh, I see Joanne for 16. I love the detail. It's so pretty the way that it's painted. They did a great job. And look at the wings. It's awesome. And I love the blue, like the royal, the dark blue. It's so pretty. Yep. 
Went in it signed. It is neat. Okay. The is the only time it's signed is when the person is more experienced. Yeah. And I got 17. 17 for Karen. I love, I just love the detail. They did, this person did an amazing job. And I got 20 for Joanne. They did a great job. And Karen is out. So I'm going to start calling it. We got $20 for Joanne going once. $20 for Joanne going twice. It's a duck. <laughs> That's what I thought too. But it just looks so majestic with the wings. <laughs> oh, I got Rose for 21. Rose snuck in there at 21. We got 21 for Rose. I love the wings. I just, this, this person took their time. Whoever made this one, they took their time. They did an amazing job. And it's just, wouldn't that be a fun job to have? To sit and paint all day? Like, just paint different figurine animals? 25 for Joanne? Wouldn't it? I just think that would be such a fun job. It'd just be like whimsical. 26 for Rose. And I like how you could feel, you can feel the paint on there. It's just so awesome. They did an amazing job. 30 for Joanne. And it is signed. Signed on the bottom. I love the detail. And I will measure it again for you. It is six and a half inches long. Five inches tall. And four inches wide. And Rose is out. So we've got 30 for Joanne going once. 30 for Joanne going twice and sold to Precious Lavender Buttons for $30. Congratulations, Joanne. I love it. And I will make sure it is packed up very nicely. All right. I'm not really for sure why I saved my bird items for last, but I did because I got two more <laughs> two more things. Now this is a cute little trinket dish. Now this is a duck. I know this is a duck. <laughs> I like do you see how it's I don't know what you call that. Like that style and design, it's kind of like in the, in the pewter. It is pewter, I believe. And it is signed on the bottom, stamped, hammered. That's what I'm looking for, hammered. Yes, 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 yes. And it is stamped on the bottom, but it's very hard to read because it's small. But it is stamped on the bottom. And I just thought that was a cute little, I think that's very neat. I like it. I think it's a cute little dish. And the duck is brass. And then I believe this is pewter. I believe. But we're going to start this out at $8. $8. And I think it's cool. I love that hammered look.
eight dollars for this and it measures with the duck it is um two and a half inches tall and two and a half inches round pretty cool I just think that's neat with the brass in this in this like pewter silver or whatever not real silver but you know what I mean so all right then my last item is a swan a beautiful amber swan dish now i had i have another one of these that's orange and it has jeweled eyes but i listed it online and then people thought it was amber and i forgot i had this so if this doesn't sell today i guess i can message them and tell them that i have i do have amber because they wanted amber not orange i like the orange but anyways this Beautiful glass swan dish. I love it. The clear, the clear neck and head, and then the amber dish. It is not stamped, so I don't know the maker. That was a reflection of my shirt. <laughs> um, I like it. I just think it's so cool how it's kind of like a heart design, but it's a swan dish. And we are going to start the swan dish out at $12. And it is six and a half inches long. Uh, five and a quarter inches wide. And then with the head, it is five inches tall. So it is pretty cool. It is beautiful. Very, very beautiful dish. And I like it. It's, I mean, if you wanted to use it for an ashtray, you could, because it has, it does have the, the divot right there, but I think it would be cute for coins or jewelry. You know, you could even put an air plant in there. I think it's pretty cool. Okay, that was my last thing. So, really quick, I'm going to go through what didn't sell. Um, I'm pro I don't have the prices written down, so I'm not for sure if they will be the same prices. I'll try to lower them a little bit, maybe, but I don't know. We will see. So, if anybody wants this for $12, type in $12 Swan Dish. If anybody wants this for $6, type in metal duck dish. If anybody wants this vintage candy tin, it is the Wilkins Red Boy Toffee tin for $6, type in Toffee tin, six dollars. We have this beautiful frosted. I don't know if you want to call it Jack in a Pulpit or because that's the kind of the style of it, but it's just frosted glass. But this is fourteen dollars, so just put fourteen dollars frosted vase. the beautiful art glass dish it does have one tiny little rough spot tiny tiny little rough spot right there but nothing major smoothed and polished on the bottom beautiful piece of art glass i love this bowl and this is going to be 16 art glass bowl if you want it 
16 art glass bowl. The brass um, kangaroo or squirrel, whichever you want to call it. Nutcracker is $9. Brass Nutcracker, $9. And just type that in, guys, if you want any of those things. This Anchor Hawking, it's stamped on the bottom. Anchor Hawking. Um... It's thick glass. It's a lidded chicken dish. And this is $9. $9 for the glass chicken dish. This beautiful, beautiful glass paperweight. I love this piece. It would be so pretty inside of a window. And I think my daughter's coming in. Yes. Hey, Bridget. I'm just finishing up my sale. Um, this beautiful piece of glass will be 14. So you can put art glass paperweight 14. I have this Fenton hobnail vase. And this is also 14, and it's stamped Fenton. It is stamped Fenton on the bottom. So $14 for the Fenton vase. We got Blanco glass, I believe it's Blanco glass. Are you leaving, honey? Mm -hmm. See you later. We'll see you on Friday, okay? See ya. See ya. Okay, the, and I believe this is Blanco glass, but I'm not for sure. This will be $12. You can put green Blanco glass. $12. And then the last thing is these books for six. You get both of them for six bucks. All right, guys, and that concludes my sale. I think it did it went really well for having my first scheduled live one. I'm excited. Like I said, I'm going to be doing this every Monday and Tuesday, having a sale every Monday afternoon at 3 p.m. and Tuesday evenings at 7 p.m. Mondays and Tuesdays are my new scheduled days. Yay. But um, next Monday's Memorial Day, so I don't know. Tomorrow is at 7 p.m. Central Time. And I will do, um, tomorrow afternoon, I will do a little um, thumbnail to show a preview of everything that will be from sale. The chicken dish. This one, Sandra? This is $9. And it's Anchor Hawking. Anchor Hawking, $9. It's cute. It's like a rounded chicken. It's like a ball. It's like a rounded chicken. And it's a lidded dish. And it is Anchor Hawking signed. Signed. Okay, guys. That was awesome. Awesome, awesome. Oh, Mary, you'll have to tune in tomorrow night at 7 p.m. I will have some more cool items. Lots of fun vintage treasures. I love vintage, and I just hope everybody else loves it as much as I do. It's fun bringing it back in into style. I love it. All right, guys, I'm going to get off here, and so I can call Luke and put my order in for my subway. And I will see everybody tomorrow night. But don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. That way you'll get a notification when I'm having my live sales and posting new videos. All right, guys. We'll see you tomorrow night. Bye. Have a good night. Keep smiling and happy picking.